We. <laughs> we. All right. So the first time we see Diana and Drew is when they're driving off. Now, remember, this happens right after episode three when the whole dinner scene goes down. You know what goes down in the dinner? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing goes down that is going to be something to remember at the dinner table. You want to erase everything that you hear or learn at the dinner table. You want to erase it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Drew and Diana, the non-dynamic duo, they drive it off. Er, er, er. She Drew, what are we going to do? This nigga's like, dog, we got to go slide on something. We got to go slide on something. Now, we're giving this story from Diana's perspective, and then we're just going to flip it and go straight to Drew's story right after. But Diana, she's sitting in the car. You know, she's getting bubble guts. Her stomach is hurting. She's getting morning sickness. She's over here wondering who's the next person she's going to tell on. She's wondering who the baby daddy is. She's wondering about a lot of shit right now. Drew, on the other hand, he's driving. He don't give a fuck. He's just trying to get them the hell up out of here. She said, Drew, you need to slow down. This nigga Drew like, no, fuck that. We need to get the hell up out of here. So for Diana to expose some more truths, you have to wonder what what goes on in Diana's head. Does she ever like stop and think like, "Hey, let me not say something this time." You know what I mean? Because the footage came out, which was dumb footage. She was in front of the damn camera talking about it. Tell them Monet to hide it. Said this one. So once that camera footage got leaked from the ring camera, it was over. Now if I'm Drew, I'm like. I ain't got nothing to do with this, Mo. You know what I mean? I would have like, Diana, you did what? That's the first thing I would have did. My, my natural instinct is to deny, deny, deny. So I would have looked at Diana like, you did what? You tried to set up, Mom? And then I would have escorted Diana out like, no, hell no, I got her, Mo. I'll take her out. And then I would have got her out. So Diana's just looking like, damn, these plans that I thought were going to be effective, they ain't so effective. These are some stupid-ass plans. And we knew they were dumb plans in season three. When we were looking at the flashback, we were all like, uh, I don't know if going over to Kate Egan's house is something that we should do. Remember, even Drew told her that. Drew was like, nah, 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 nah. But Diana wanted to step up and be the one in charge, and it didn't work. And we just continue to make dumb choices after dumb choices. So we were trying to figure out how the hell was Monet going to find out where Drew and them were. Well, Drew, they at the motel. This is a nice little motel, too, though. You, what, what would you guys rate this motel? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, compared to what you normally see in motels, what would you rate this? This To me, I'm looking at, okay, motel, we got this nice glass. So if you got you, you know what I'm saying, if, you know what I'm saying, you and your old lady, like, you know, just think about it. You go on a date. You know what I mean? This is this is somebody you've been dating for a while. Y'all go on a date. You kind of got a budget. You need to go to a nice, you know what I'm saying? You want a little nice motel so y'all can stay out for the evening. This place looks like it's about $49.99 a night. You got the glass you can see through. You know, this looks like this is something nice. This is somewhere I would take, you know what I'm saying, that special somebody. You know what I mean? Meet her at a truck stop. Bring her over here. You know what I'm saying? Hang out, talk. These are twin beds, though. You got to push these beds together because... This is this is a small bed, but this looks like a nice little motel. But while they're sitting in the room, Drew's talking about, man, I'm hungry. Diana talking about, nah, I can't eat right now. My damn stomach. I feel like I got to throw up. And we're like, wait a minute. These are the signs and symptoms of morning sickness. I'm like, morning sickness? What the hell is going on? She's talking about, I can't eat right now. Plus, we don't have any money, Drew. Drew is like, yeah, we don't have any money. Wait a minute. You're right about that. Well, how do we book this room? I told you. These two, the non-dynamic duo, used the credit card. Diana used the credit card, went down there and put it on the card. Put it on the card. In the hotel. These kids are 19, 20 years old. They, well, of course, they wouldn't have their own bank account. They ain't never had no jobs or nothing. But you got to think. 
Diana ain't that smart, man. They on the run. They scared. They ain't never been in no shit like this. You just leaving the house. Hey, Big Wolf, I was just about to get, I was just about to get to that after using the credit card. Diana going to say, let's get room service. This is letting you know the mind frame that Diana's in. He said there's a Chinese spot. He going to go get some Chinese. She said, no, let's not leave. Let's get room service and put it on the bill. And that's how we found out. Wait, what, first of all, what, what room service? Do you not smell how this room smells? This room smells like ass. Whoever was in here before was didn't wipe. They just got up and went. They didn't flush. None of that. It stinks in here, Diana. She talking about, let's just order room service. Room service? Room service, Diana? Now that I'm thinking about it, the first move they should have made, Drew should have went to the bodega tonight. They should have went to the bodega, got the cash, and got some food out of there so they can get on the run. That was like they weren't thinking at all. But anyway, Monet goes downstairs and she does her thing. Wow, 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 wow. Monet fuck them up. Monet gets the key to the room. Well, Monet paid for it. So if this guy would have just did what he was supposed to do, we'll talk about that on Monet's story, then we wouldn't have had to worry about this. So now Diana's like, damn, we fucked up. We fucked up. But it, and this is one of those moments where someone, when it's you and somebody else, and they say, we fucked up. No, 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 Diana. You fucked up. You fucked us over. Now, Monet ends up showing up because she did what she did downstairs, her one-two step, and got the goddamn front desk to, well, I won't say willingly gave up the, the key card, but Monet shows up. And then we get the infamous scene where she's talking about, I, I did everything for y'all. If it wasn't for me, you guys wouldn't have nothing. Of course, Drew is standing up. And he's holding it down because we know about Drew's past, but not at this moment. So I don't know. Do you guys think that Drew told Diana about that story, about him catching a body? Or it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Drew kept this one in. Now, that's a pause. <laughs> yeah, that one's a pause. I, I don't think Drew told anybody about that story of him catching a body. So it might just be him and Monet that know about it. But as she lets her guard down, Diana does her stuff. Diana pushes Monet over. And they get up out of here because Drew was telling her, nah, we don't respect you. None of that shit. Now, I don't know. This wasn't that hard of a push. Maybe, maybe Monet, you know what I'm saying? She was just shocked that, hey, my daughter pushed me. But it wasn't that hard of a push. But they did get low. And then we, we see the scene where they running off. <laughs> what up, puzzle? They sprinting down the hallway. Y'all wanted to know how they got out of there? Diana knocked Monet out. And then Monet going to come outside. Monet outside leaning on a rail. Like, get him, Kane. Get him. Game bucket. Bop, 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 bop. But they end up getting low. They end up getting low. Well, yeah, Monet is in a weakened state. Y'all, okay, okay, y'all right, y'all right. I forgot all about that. She is recovering. She didn't do physical therapy for the week. You feel me? She didn't do her physical therapy for the week. Man, it's hot as hell in here. She didn't do the physical therapy for the week. But they end up getting about it. <laughs> was a car bulletproof? Nah, it was just ricocheting off. That's an infinity, man. That's that Q45. You know what I mean? That's that top of the line infinity. They ain't that play play. They ain't that bullshit. So they get up out of here, and Diana's been fucking up. The next morning, they woke up because they don't have any money, no cash. They do have a car. But Diana's like, Drew, Drew, wake up. Drew, wake up. 
Now you know one thing. If you if you ever drove long distance over the road, I know some of y'all like some of y'all y'all bougie or whatever. Me back in the day when I used to drive from Atlanta back to Kansas City, man, I used to go to sleep on the side of the road. Well, not on the side of the road. Like I pull over at a truck stop. I used to give me a couple of Z's. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like two hours, three hours of sleep. Drew is the definition of hey man, why don't you drive sometime? These niggas been on the run for let's just say what 12 hours at this point they only checked into the motel for maybe two hours before monet showed up two three hours now they on the run they had to sleep in the vehicle drew in here knocked out diana talking about wake up drew wake up drew said man look i'm gonna drop you off somewhere and i'm gonna go get some cash i know a spot diana just sitting around not knowing that she's the one that started all this shit man Diana's the reason we're in this whole predicament with this let's take Monet out and now she's trying to switch up this nigga Drew is like man we made a plan let's stick to it the fuck is wrong with you die oh no nah, man shit when I used to be on the road man I man it didn't matter to me I'm sleeping in that <laughs> I used to get in that back seat Lay down across that back seat, just lock the door, man. Man, if somebody want to get you, they just gonna get you. But shit, I need my rest, especially if I'm driving. That's a twelve hour drive. Twelve hour drive. I leave like leave in the evening so I can get to Kansas City in the morning time. Man, I when I drove from um when um uh, I stayed in the motel when I drove from uh the Bay to Kansas City, I stopped outside of Vegas, slept out there. Well, I checked in probably like at two in the morning. Checked out at like six. But she's like, look, I got somewhere I can go. And where did she go? To Salim's house. You see how that is, fellas? First, first they fucking with you. Then they get done with you. They call you a little ding dong. Then they ain't fucking with you. They telling all their girls. They send in the group chat. Man, this dude is lame. He whack. Ha, ha, ha. They telling you not to hit him up. They don't fuck with me. But then when they need something, they come right back. Now, if I'm Salim and I open the door and I see Diana here, oh, man, if you don't get the fuck off my doorstep, either that or I'm thinking we about to get some loving. Like, why is she coming over to my crib? But Diana shows up over here and Drew drops her off. Now, we do see that Pinky is telling. Now, I don't know how the hell. She's telling, um, yeah, like telling him, I guess she, I guess she hacked into Diana's phone or something. Or Tariq knew, like, hey, go check Salim's house. But anyway, but anyway, if I'm Salim and I open the door and I see Diana out there, what's y'all first thought? Are y'all letting Diana in? In my mind, I'm thinking, what do you need? Like, what do you want? Tell me what you want. Tell me, baby. Tell me what you need. Tell me if you need a place to stay. Because you can't stay here. Dad, I'm telling Diana, get the fuck off my doorstep. I'm not letting Diana in my house. He already knows that these Tejadas is trouble. Fuck that. Hey, Diana, get the fuck off my doorstep, man. Salim opened up that door. Well, you know how it is. Salim ain't getting no cutty. So I know exactly what's going on. Salim ain't getting no cutty. So he feels like she's showing up. She's vulnerable at this moment. So he's thinking she's about to come over because, you know, she just has some, some troubles at home. She's going to want to cuddle up, watch some TV. Hell no. Diana was just using your ass as a last resort, as a place to stay. Now, Pinky does have the address. And Pinky's like, I got the address. I got the address. Yeah, he was smashing, but I mean, if you ain't smashing in a while, you got to first, the first thing you got to think, if you ain't knocking it down in a while and y'all ain't text, if she ain't giving you the text message or like liking a comment or like a picture or something on, on, on the social media, you can't trust her. If she just showing up to the doorstep, the first thing you got to do is always look out the window from the floor above because you never want to be ambushed. You never want to go down there, open up the door and the Tariq St. Patrick situation happens. So you always want to look and see who it is before you open the door, preferably from the second floor in case you got to get the bucket. But this is New York and Salim ain't going to have no gun. But if Diana shows up out of nowhere, I'm like, first of all, don't nobody pop up over here. 
But anyway, Salim's like, man, it's been a while. That demon then built up on him. So he's trying to get rid of that demon. He's like, shit, Diana here, man. It's like, hey, this must be my lucky day. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel bad drinking this Coke straight, man. Give me like a give me give me give me like an hour, and then we're gonna go get the Remy. We're gonna go pull up. We're gonna pull up a little bit, just, just a little bit. But now they in here and they having to talk. What's wrong, Diana? And anytime, anytime it's somebody that you ain't like, I'm I'm just telling you guys, it sounds like a lot of rules, but this is how you gotta think in life. Anytime someone starts expressing what they've been going through. I made a bad decision. First of all, don't come to my house and tell me about the bad decisions you made. This right here is a stress-free environment. When you come over here, leave all your worries and stress behind. You know what I mean? Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. When you come over here, you better be chilling. I ain't trying to hear about your goddamn trauma. I ain't trying to hear about your bad decision making. Leave that shit at the door. I ain't trying to hear that. I don't have anything but a damn, that's fucked up. Now, she's saying I need to leave. And we're looking at Diana like, yeah, you need to get the fuck out of here. But don't tell this dude too much information. You feel me? But she's like, I made a bad decision. And Salim's like, what is it? I'm here for you. And this is how she's getting them. Them tears, them crocodile tears, never fall for them. I just made a bad decision and I need to leave to start my life over. Like, what? What do you, what do you mean start your life over? I can't tell you exactly what I did, but I need help. I need help. Please, Salim. <laughs> if only you knew what I was going through right now. It's just school is piling up on me and my family. They ain't treating me like they used to. And it's just so much. Slim, I just don't know. I don't know, Slim. <laughs> Slim, I don't worry about it, Diana. You can always come and talk to me. What What exactly is it? I can't really tell you. It's just a bad decision. I don't know what I'm going to do. We don't have any money. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm just I'm waiting on Drew, and Drew isn't here. And he's, he's, we've never been away this long. He said he would be here with you. <laughs> Salim is like, you know what? This is what we can do. You know that beans I drive? Here's the keys to it. My parents are going to be in Turks and Caicos. They're going to be down there with Drizzy Drake. They're going to be down there for at least a month. They live in Connecticut. You can go to their house. You can just stay there for a month, and I'll come and get the car later. Oh, you really do that for me? <laughs> you, you really do that for me? Anything for you, Diana. I know we had a rocky pass, but one thing I'm going to do is always be there for you. Now he's thinking maybe before she dips, you know, say he gonna get a you know you you thinking now now Salim's thinking maybe before she dips out, I give her these keys. We you, I give her these keys, I can get in between. That's what Salim is thinking. This ain't me thinking right now. This is Salim thinking. He's like, she come over here, she's hugging, he looking at her, he trying to go in for a kiss. She's like, no, nigga, I'm just trying to get the fuck up out of here. And I knew you was a sucker. I mean, I mean I, not a sucker. I, I'm, I'm my bad, Salim. I, I, I got the S mixed up. It's not a sucker. I thought you was Mr. Salim. You know what I'm saying? Superman. But Diana's like, really? I can take that car? Them tears went away quickly. She went, mm -hmm. Connecticut? Okay. Okay. Connecticut. Connecticut it is. Diana gets them keys. She ain't got no worry in the world. She ain't called Drew. She ain't texting Drew no more. She just took off to Connecticut. <laughs> La -dee -dee, la -dee -la. She put some music on. She got on the road, put the GPS in. Hey, what's the uh what's the city they were in? Greenwich, Green, Greenwich, Green, I think it was a Greenwich, Connecticut. Does anyone remember the city that they uh, that his parents lived in? We need to look on Google Maps how far this ride was. Make sure y'all hit that like button for your boy. We got 120 people in here. We only got 58 likes. Let's get about let's get about 80 likes in here. Greenwich Village, Greenwich, Greenwich. All right, let me see, man. It sounds like nobody knows where we at. 
So what part of New York do you think they're in right now? Greenwich, Connecticut. What part of New York are they in? Like, where does Salim live at in New York right now? Oh, they live by the water. 66 degrees. Manhattan, Long Island for sure. All right, let me see something. Oh, about an hour? Oh, that ain't that bad of a ride. That ain't that bad of a ride. Long Island to Connecticut. Oh, it ain't bad. About an hour. Hour 11, 61 miles. Oh. You had to go a little further than that. I mean, Connecticut. I mean, okay, of course. If Pinky wasn't around, Diana would get away. But Diana was riding. What what music you think Diana was listening to on the way over there? She probably got in the car, connected the phone to Bluetooth. You know what I mean? Diana seemed like the type that got to get comfortable before she drive. Fix the seatbelt, rear view, do the side mirrors. She got it connected. She bring down the sun visor. She fixes her makeup, make sure her hair is good. She reverses out real slow. Yeah. Oh, well, wait a minute. They got money. They got a BMW. They ain't even got to look behind them. They got the little camera on there. So she's looking at the camera. Diana seemed like she drive, you know what I'm saying, sitting all the way up to the steering wheel, too. What music was she listening to? Summer Walker. <laughs> not going to cry. No, I'm not going to cry. No, not this time. I'm not going to shed a tear. Shit. Diana was probably crying the whole way. Nah, knowing Diana, now nah, Diana wasn't crying because look, the next very the, the, the very next time we see Diana, Diana kicking it like ain't nothing happened. Where did we see Diana after that? At the house? Oh yeah. So Diana leaves and she's trying to figure out where the hell Drew is. Look at Diana. She just <laughs> Queen said in the fridge, look, look, she's looking in the refrigerator. She's kicking it. She got her hair down. Look, she was look, she was reading the magazine. Look what Diana was. Get the fuck out of here. I did not see this. You know, we oh, fuck it. We here now. Man, I know Diana was not. Diana made a, she had a little tea right here. She's reading magazines. Diana's over here kicking it like she on a vacation. She reading magazines. She got tea. She looking for goddamn snacks. Look at Diana fucking kicking it. Drew out here getting his ass whooped by Kane. Monet and them looking for her. Tariq looking for her. She in here in the refrigerator. She ain't like sitting on the couch contacting Drew, calling Drew nonstop. Drew, where you at? Drew, where you at? This is the number one priority. She in here looking for snacks. She's about to get on the phone, order some Uber Eats. Man, she in here kicking it. She living better. Who's living better? Her in Celine's parents' house or Lauren at Jenny Sullivan's house? Remember, Lauren was kicking it in the kitchen eating sardines in Spam. Diana is over here in the refrigerator. She kicking it like it ain't no worries in the world. You know they ain't got food. They done been gone. They gonna be gone for a month, so they didn't clear out all their food unless they got a deep freezer. They probably do because this refrigerator is built into the cabinets. So you know they got a little bit of money. They got the they got the freezer at the bottom that you pull out the the big freezer. Like you know what I'm saying we ain't never had no freezer like that. That's when you get money. That, that's when you got some money. When you got that big deep freezer up under the bottom of the refrigerator that you got to pull out with two hands. Yeah, that's when you get some money right there, y'all. And Tariq says exactly what we talking about. Man, you kind of comfortable for a motherfucker with a target on our back. Tariq breaks a little glass. 
she tries to dip out. Now, I don't know why she thought she'd go through the front door. But Tariq catches her ass. She talk about Tariq. You, you can't do this. You can't do this. Why can't I? And out of nowhere, Monet shows up because she's pregnant. She's pregnant. And then we see the family reunion right here. Monet didn't know what to do with that gun. Go back and watch this scene. Monet didn't know what to do with that gun when she hugged Diana. She didn't know if she wanted to pop Diana or if she wanted to hug Diana. It's, it was like a little awkward situation going on. <laughs> So they hugging and they making up. Monet just wants to protect her family, y'all. Monet wants to protect the family. Damn. How did Monet get there so quick? Miss Kira, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The mother's instincts, they can't be, they, they can't be comparable to anything. Monet just had a gut instinct. A gut instinct. And wait, so did Pinky, did Pinky send Tariq and Monet the address or did Tariq send the address? Like, wait, how did Monet get the address? And Monet got a Louis Vuitton sweater on. I ain't even peeped that with the arm pads. Yeah, who gave, who gave Monet the address? <laughs> Yvette said it was damn pinky. That's what Drew did on the uh, on the oh Drew did when she was on the phone. He said, I was going, but yeah, man, you're right. How the hell did she get there that fast? I mean, it is TV. Y'all, I forgot all about Drew being on the phone when they were in the bodega. interesting all right i mean you know fuck it it's tv man we good with it we good with it that's diana's story what do you what do you think about diana man how how is she going to be moving after this is she going to be feeling like she's untouchable because i mean technically monet is like you know what the whole family business is you know saying it, we're going to squash all the nonsense so you think moving forward diana's going to be they're going to allow her to be more of that mother figure. You know what I mean? Like, hey, Monet, we got to let Diana do whatever she got to do. And we need to figure out who baby it is. Nah, Monet was not. No, Monet was at the house. Remember, Monet got the phone call at the house because she came down the stairs and was telling Kane, 